DJ Rock is here. It is time for the YouTube People's Champ. Oh, to do another reaction. J Rock is here. We got ourselves about a good 17 minutes worth of gameplay for the upcoming release, Lords of the Fall. Hi, J Rock. Hands come back to you too. What is happening in 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 with the mill gun? And millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby, J-Rock is here. We got ourselves some gameplay from Lords of the Fallen. J-Rock has received a couple of requests to check out some trailers for Lords of the Fallen. Only problem is that J-Rock saw those trailers already, and so he didn't want to react to it having already seen it. Uh, this is something J-Rock has not seen. Um, I'm kind of iffy on whether or not I'm going to play it or not. I don't know. Um, I may rent it through Gamefly just to see how it is, but... We're gonna check out this gameplay, all right? And uh, I guess this should, should appease uh, those few millions of J Rock fans who wanted J Rock to react to Lords of the Fallen in the past. Make sure you lay FL smack it down it on that subscribe button on our way to 3,000 subscribers, all right? Um, hit that thanks button for me as well, and your support will be appreciated, all right? And uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. But we're not gonna waste no time, baby. It's show. Ah. Welcome to Mornstead, a prominent region within the vast and sprawling world of Lords of the Fallen. In today's extended gameplay walkthrough, we're sharing an exclusive look at just some of the diverse and harrowing areas you'll journey through in your epic quest to overthrow Adir, the Demon God. This is Skyrest Bridge. It is guarded by Pieta, she of the Blessed Renewal, one of the game's early boss encounters. We must triumph against her in order to proceed with our holy charge to restore radiance to the six beacons of the Sentinels and thwart Adir's uprising. Oh, holy Aureus. By your radiance, grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days, to lay bare the path to salvation. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger, a betrayal made flesh, and one I cannot brook. Melee, magic, and ranged abilities are seamlessly interwoven. Alongside standard attacks, you can choose between catalysts, bows, crossbows, or throwables, mapping up to four additional magic or range skills to your controller for immediate access. This nice. rapidly speeds up combat and reduces the need to swap between options. All right, got the good old parry and block. With many of the imposing bosses you'll encounter, Pieta has two very distinct stages. Death is not necessarily the end in Lords of the Fallen. When slain in Axiom, the realm of the living, you'll resurrect in Umbral, the realm of the dead. Wow. You now have one final chance to survive. So you can die after dying, huh? Live once, die twice. Got it. Well, if you died twice, did you actually only live once? I guess you're in that realm. Doesn't mean you're dead. But whatever. I want to do the half dash. Because sometimes dodge, the, the timing of it may be a little off. Now, does she Though come back to life? Far between, these flowers denote special patches of ground, a 
upon which we can spawn a resting point, known as a vestige seedling. These come at a significant resource cost, however, and we can only spawn one at a time. The realms of Axiom and Umbral exist in parallel. Each world features its own unique pathways, enemies, characters, and, of course, treasures. We can now use this crafty vestige to return to Axiom. We can peer into the secondary realm at any time by raising the Umbral Lamp. Though be advised, this also renders you vulnerable to its inhabitants. Wow, really? Like a portal, if you will. For the undead. We will now use the lamp to cross over to Umbral. Though doing so will consume one of our two lives. And it isn't so easy to return to the world of the living. This reminds me of that game that came out, I think it was on the first PlayStation, called uh, Soul Reaver. Many enemies require a different approach to combat. This mendacious visage, for example, is only vulnerable when attacked from the back, or when it reveals its true form. Oh, you do got that, okay. Or die. Look like there's a dodge and a roll. I got the two confused. You'll also come across permanent vestiges on your travels. As well as using these to return to Axiom, you can also level up your stats at these locations. Are those, are they checkpoints as well? Three schools of sorcery can be mastered. Rogar, Radiant, and Umbral, each specializing in a different area of the arcane and requiring a different catalyst to cast. Our current build is adept in Rugar, characterized by devastating pyromantic attacks. I check this out. When it An age-old borough built into the very cliff face, Pilgrim's Perch typifies the verticality of Moonstead. There are myriad pathways stretching both above and below, with hidden areas, treasures, and NPCs all awaiting discovery.
Launch fireballs up there. As a lamp bearer, all players are equipped with a devastating ability, the soul flay. By using one of a limited number of soul charges, we are able to extract the very soul of an enemy, ready to inflict significant damage. Huh. Shang Song up in this thing. You're so smart. It's going to be a difficult decision the to make it. The flay ability can also be used to manipulate the very environment when in Umbral. If you only got one soul life left, whatever it's called, you got to decide if I want to use it now, I want to save it. I guess that's the challenge of playing these kinds of games. Reaper of Death. The Grim Reaper up in this thing. find ourselves in Lower Kalrath, an ever-burning district, renowned for its displays of barbarity. So wait, I'm confused. You can cross those bridges without... I don't know, maybe it's the difference between a bridge and a platform, I don't know. We're now going to invite a second player to join us on our journey. This is easily achieved at any of the vestiges. You can choose to fight alongside a friend or a randomly selected player. Either way, your co-op companion will remain at your side for as long as you or they choose. As a Radiant Sorcerer, our ally is able to buff either character with various enhancements.
I like the different weapons you can and uh, powers you can um, craft or equip. It appears rather. our way is blocked by an umbral entity. We will need to track its tendrils in order to locate and expel the source of its power. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Constantine with Keanu Reeves. Travel into the world of the undead or whatever. Where he could literally go to hell about, you know, at will. Finally, it's time to face off against the colossal spurned progeny, Scourge of Calrath. Scourge of Calrath, okay. That's all I can hear. Pray to. Damn! Don't sit on her, bro. Get out of there. Check this out. The lands of Mornstead await you. Pre-order Lords of the Fallen now and prepare to unleash the darkness on Friday the 13th of October. Ah. Well, j -Rock says this. Uh, it's piqued the Great One's interest. Definitely going to check it out. Uh, probably rent it. Uh, may not buy it, but I'll definitely rent it through Gamefly. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks pretty, looks pretty good right now. It looks pretty good. I might check this out. I like the fact that you can get equip a lot of different powers and, and weapons and not having to switch back and forth. Somewhat confused on the ability to travel from one realm to the next, what you can and can't do, but the, I'm sure the game will explain that um, or they'll release a video uh, in more depth about it as the game, right as the game approaches release. But j -Rock says this, what say you? What do you think about the game? Are you going to get it? You going to play it? Let me know. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what started his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the Great One's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure that you hit that bell so you can be notified when it's time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for the next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda. Well, if you smile, what J Rock? Yeah.